Researchers at Glassmaker Corning are trying to make smartphone screens stronger. Yeah, so this is really the test that replicates what happens in the field. We find that about 80% of failures are due to drops on rough surface. Corning makes the touchscreen glass for leading smartphones, including Apple's and Samsung's. So these researchers are working to strengthen its glass and see how it responds to pressure, drops, and falling objects. So this is our random tumble test. Um, they even test how phones fare when they bump against keys, coins, and other objects stuffed into pockets and purses. But as glass gets stronger, phones are getting bigger and thinner, offsetting the improved strength. They're getting potentially more massive, they have shaped cover glass, they have curved cover glass, and so all of that puts higher stresses on the uh, cover glass during things like drop events. Something most smartphone owners can relate to. My phone went through a series of accidents. I dropped it a few times on the sidewalk again. It just falls out of my pocket or falls out of my hand. Of course, cases can help protect phones, but not everyone is a fan. I don't like cases, so I just like to take my chances, I guess. So this phone was go-karting, and it flew, flew out of the cart. San Francisco-based Square Trade sells insurance for electronic devices. More than half of its phone claims are for cracked screens. The new Apple iPhone is supposed to be more durable, but Square Trade isn't predicting a big drop in claims. Well, all I can tell is from history, it, everything they've done has, has clearly increased the strength of phones, but people keep breaking them. That's why Square Trade conducts its own durability tests to help customers figure out which phones can best withstand bending, sliding, dunking, and dropping. Accidents that are becoming more frequent as smartphones become an indispensable part of modern life. Terry Che, Associated Press, San Francisco.